Yeah, hold this upside down. A pate. Yeah. With a rooster on it. It's from Brooklyn. Okay. One, two, three, four tubes. Five. Five? Oh, there's the fifth one. Okay. That looks like a lot of fun. I got some, oh, what are they, old one A's? Yes. I say that because I see the RB. I just got one of these for myself. Yeah. I don't own a $3, but when I do, they get all set. I got, got to I got turn this around so people don't stand on their head. There we go. So you're just checking resistance and caps and yeah, this this coil was open. There's bad grid leak resistors in it. Replace the one capacitor. Oh, okay. And uh, right now I'm bypassing the other grid leak, but I'm going to try to leave the old one on the connector. Okay, you're using this fine reproducer here. Yeah. It's seen better days, but it should be a high impedance speaker. Okay. So with any luck, we might be able to make it crackle. Oh, that'd be cool. All right. Maybe I'll catch up with you later. I'm here. <laughs> I'm running out of things that I know how to do, so. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Nothing like having help. <laughs> <laughs> How's your TO doing? Well, we right now we're 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 better in the Mets than the Yankees. We're batting 500. Good. Okay. <laughs> so they, we we actually got one working, and the other one is uh, it, it it works, but needs some more help to make the AC work right. Uh, but we know what's. I already H500. figured out what's wrong with it. What's that? Are they both H500s? They're both H500s, and now and now I have a third to look at, and I just tried it on the battery pack, and that works. So we're we gotta go see what's what's going on with the AC on that one. Hmm. So what is this fine looking radio here? Nice wood. This is an American Botch 620. Oh, it's an American botched. Yep. Botched radio. There it is. The botched radio. Yes. Uh, That's actually a very nice radio. It is. It looks nice. Let's see the dial when it's lit up. Oh yeah, I bet you that's really nice. So. So what was the issue on this guy here? Well, there were two issues, at least two issues. One, it, it needs to be recapped, and it still needs to be recapped. But? But um, it also had a broken uh, dial cord. Oh. And that we fixed. Okay. Plus, we also educated the uh, ignorant among us on how to actually do that. Oh. So I learned a couple of tricks. Is that why I saw that Boy Scout run like hell out the door? <laughs> okay. Now, well, now that explains everything. And all the fishermen who actually know how to tie knots, they fled. Yes. Yeah. So um, we're going to put it back and live to fight another day, but uh, it's in better shape than it was. That's good. Well, it's progress. That's a good thing. This was also kind of a cool story. How I got it. Um, the uh, I have a friend who um, he's an antiquarian book dealer, and he got invited to a preview of an estate sale up in Rumson. And he said, "Why don't you come along?" So I did. Ah, and he's looking at the that's... that's the books, right? And I see two radios. Um, this one and a um, power crafter. Okay. And so I, I know. John Collacrafter. So I said, hey, what do you want for the radios? And long story short, he settled for 20 bucks for the Halicrafter, mm -hmm. which is worth more than that. Uh, and this one he wouldn't sell. Mm. So I really wanted it now that I'd seen it. So I went on eBay, and the guy on eBay who was selling it, he lives in Belmont. Oh. And he said, well, I could just drive it over to InfoAge and drop it off. Oh. So that's how I got this one. Okay. So there you go. Wow. Well, sometimes, you know, one of my favorite lines is sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. It's always better to be and, lucky uh, than you, good. And you really lucked out on that, because that's a nice piece. Yeah. A Philco? Yeah. It's, not, it's, it's a Philco. You sent a no, picture I, of that. No, it may have been a different one. Oh, okay. I don't think it was the 90. Okay. What model is this, Bill? I have no idea. You have no idea? No it's a 90. Philco 90. Oh, it's a Philco 90. Okay. Oh, so you're just going to use the, uh, the tar impregnated caps as tie points. 
Uh, well, somebody had worked on it previously. Okay. So I'm leaving the orange drops. Oh. And uh, this mica. Mm -hmm. uh, we changed some papers. Uh, we placed some um, rotted wiring. All oh, these? Oh, yes. And what else? Uh, we found a defective light bulb. Oh, all right. And it works. Wow. And it really, so I don't want to mess with it too much. I have a 90, it sits on my shelf. I've had for 15 years, I've yet to work on it. But I know it's fixable because I put it on Variac when I, after I bought it, and, and it's a Hummer. You don't mind being on there. That's great. Okay. That's great. What's with the beard? You decided yeah, to just grow it a little give bit? It give it a shot. Oh, okay. <laughs> you wish to call him? We're recording? <laughs> I'll be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you stop recording, I'll tell you. <laughs> That's a RCA Victor. Let's see, whose is that? Its chassis is right now a light prop. Let's see what it says on the front. Ah, yes. It's a rather deco looking piece. Mid century uh, leftover deco. Yes. You see, I think the model is uh, 4X551. That's what it is. The other numbers would be. So, so it's out. virtually an AA5 with a phonograph input. So let's test out this piece of history with another piece of history. Yes. Plus. That the first audio is about right. Active from there. That's the red. It's more noise than this. This guy with his, with his, with his fancy ICOM radios. <laughs> just, he just does that. To, you you want to rub it in my face a little bit. You know? I'm going to bring that really nice ICOM. He's got a little uh, power. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Two and a half watts in. Uh, about 50 watts out. Okay. So, oh, you got, oh, oh, la, 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 what's that, lackey, la, la, lackey well, battery? Well, to Chinese. It must, not, it must not be a good battery if it's a lackey. What's it lacking? <laughs> oh, it's lackey. What the heck? <laughs> Actually, it's a pretty good battery. Okay. You know? But that's a funny name. So, so what is it? Oh, so you got some little, oh, it's just a digital watt meter here. Yeah. What, what is this gizmatch? That's an amplifier. Oh. It, and this is the kit from China, $18. Okay. The kit. And... You, you can uh, boost this from two. Oh, this is a QRP radio. Okay, yeah. seven oh five. All right, you uh, boost two and a half watts into the uh, kit to almost fifty watts. Okay, and you could just you're, you're just using that as a signal monitor there. Right. Okay. That's and cool. Also, I could show you the spectral display. It's a little spectrum manager. Let me let me get a little closer to this so we could see that. And. A lot of people buy these things, right? And they don't pay attention, and they're violating the law right there because the third harmonic is so high. The harmonics. So what you do, you add a filter. I'll put the filter in line. This will only let the 40 meter band go through. You need a filter for each band. Okay. And it should be a lot cleaner now. See, now... Oh, yeah, now you're fine. Right. Okay. Interesting. I tell you, I have some big spectrum analyzers, mm -hmm. and the readings are, like, very close. For this little thing, it's incredible. Mm. Oh, that's, a, that's a scope. Yeah, this is scope DMM. Like $70. <laughs> and it will respond... It's rated at 10 megahertz, mm -hmm. but I brought the frequency up to 50 megahertz. Right. It's aliasing, but it still shows a response. It's good for troubleshooting radio stuff up to 50 megahertz. No problem. Okay. That's showing the gate, uh, well, the drive to the uh, 
the fets and the amplifier. Well, you want to be a big uh, league ball player, you've got to get yourself in shape. Now, from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., you lift weights. From 9 to 10, deep knee bends. 10 to 11, skip rope. 11 to 12, run five miles. 12 to 1, I'll never make it. I you lost. <laughs> You idiot, you'll never be a ball player. Staying up late and going to nightclubs, eating rich food, running around with beautiful girls. Do you know what can happen to you? Yes, I can become manager of the Brooklyn Dodgers. I... 